Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So I wanted to show you a little weekend project, which is controlling Emacs with ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT is already pretty good at generating Emacs list from a natural language prompt, much to my surprise. And so it only takes a little bit more of glue code on top of that to take ELISP that ChatGPT has generated and then simply eval it. And you can then use it to control Emacs with natural language commands. So in this video, I'm gonna run over a few simple demo commands and then show you the prompt behind it all. So here we are in a buffer with some text. I have this new command called GPT run, and this takes a natural language prompt. So let's start off with something simple like remove all blank line. And you can see the message string, which has the reply from chat GPT in ELISP. And that's what just got evaluated. And you can see that the blank lines between all these paragraphs are gone. So if I undo that, you'll see that the blank lines are back. Now let's try something a bit more complicated. How about delete every word that starts with the letter E, never mind the case. And there you go. That should have deleted Emacs from all this text along with a few other words like extensible, for example. So looks like it did get rid of all words in this buffer that started with E. Let me undo that. Let's try inserting something. Let's try inserting today's date. Insert today's date in this format. There you go. It got that. Let's try changing a setting. Let's see if it can change the fill column. Change the fill column to, let's say, 40. And let's see if it did that. Fill column, there you go. It made it 40. The default is 70, I think. Now that we have a short fill column, we can try something that saves me a bit of repetition. This buffer has a number of paragraphs and I want to fill all of those paragraphs. Fill all paragraphs in this buffer. There you go. So for some reason it selected everything, but it did do what I asked it to do which is fill all the paragraphs in this buffer. So now I've gone back to unfilled paragraphs and let's see if we can make a relatively simple edit. I want each paragraph to start with two spaces to make it visually distinct. So let's see if it can do that. Add two spaces to the start of the paragraph. There you go. So it did that. All right, so let's look at the crux of the logic behind this. And that is the system prompt to chat GPT that I'm using. You're an expert at Emacs and Emacs Lisp. But the crucial thing that I'm using is that I'm asking it to reply only in pure Lisp expressions that can then be evaluated with eval expression. So no comments or explanation. And if the answer has multiple expressions, wrap them inside a prog in so that it's all still one single expression. And I'm taking the reply back from chat GPT and simply passing it to, to eval expression. It's just a Lisp string, which I'm evaluating at runtime. Now, this is just a quick demo because I'm comfortable in Emacs, but I think this general pattern can actually be extended to any program with a rich and complex set of functionality that also exposes a way to script that functionality with some sort of a programming language. Now, in this case, ChatGPT is already familiar with Emacs and Emacs Lisp, so my prompts did not have to provide any examples. But if it is a custom piece of software or one that ChatGPT might not be familiar with, you could even try giving it some few shot examples. And that usually gives you fairly decent results even without fine tuning. So I think this is a pretty generic and useful technique to use LLMs to control large complex pieces of software with natural language. In terms of implementation, this is built on top of my own ChatGPT Emacs integration that I've talked about in a previous video. I'll leave a link down below. And the glue code, which gets back the reply from ChatGPT and evaluates it, I'll put it up in a gist and also leave a link down below. If you found that useful, please like the video, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.